Hello YouTube people, this video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. And previously I did review on this Gaddison Quartz watch with major quality control problem where half of the dial is completely misaligned. If you wanna see the review of this watch, link in the description. But I like the idea of this design. For that reason I bought another similarly styled watch, this time from Sander. This one is a little bit different, it's a little bit bigger, has different proportions, but oh man, it is bad, it is so bad. Crown action is bad, I'm not even gonna show you that. It has dust under the glass, no surprise. The big problem with dust is that the dial is stuck inside so hard that in order to remove the dial out of the case, I would probably have to break something. So I have no way of cleaning the dust from the inside, but that's not the major problem. Major problem is the dial itself, the way it was made. These half circles are cut in such a horrible way and some of them are glued on, some of them are sticking off of the dial. It's so nasty. I have never seen worse dial on any watch before. On the wrist, it looks rather large in the video because of the perspective that camera gives, but it's not a small watch, it isn't. I do like this design, however, that's the reason why I bought it. It has very good potential of being very interesting looking watch. And yeah, it's, it's really a shame. It's really disappointing that it has such a major quality control problems. It also feels comfortable on the wrist. This strap is surprisingly nice, actually. Well, I'm on the last hole, but anyway, buckle is a little bit too big. It's, I will change the buckle. I'm going to keep this strap. It has minor quality control problems like this edge, but nothing major. The inside of the strap feels a little bit plasticky. I wouldn't wear it in a summer, for example, but for a winter, no problem. What I do like the most is flexibility is pretty good, but the main thing is that the outer layer is very soft. It, it's very nice. It's very pleasant to touch. Feels good and it looks nice. It's a nice strap for such a shitty watch. <laughs> now let's take a look at the dial, at the major problem of the watch. And pay attention at those half circles, how badly they are cut. This is incredible. And also some of them are hovering mid-air. For example, this one is not touching the dial. The first one is as, as well hovering mid-air. I had many ultra cheap watches with bad quality controls and all kinds of bad things on, on the watch. But this one is just, it's incredible. Sand event, another level, another level. This is something that I have never seen before. How can anyone put something like this into production and sell? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna take Sanda watch from the keepers that uh, tank homage down to the not bad because of this. I'm not gonna put Sanda watches into keepers. This is ridiculous. <laughs> 